As Russia invaded Ukraine, Cyprus pledged to stand with its European allies. The government promised to clean up its financial services sector, which had served Moscow's interests for years. But a new investigation by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists reveals a starkly different story. Leaked data from six Cyprus firms show how the nation shielded billions of dollars in assets from the threat of sanctions for cronies of Russian President Vladimir Putin. Consistently, companies related with this business service sector that are supposed to be regulated seem to find ways to do things that are either illegal or at least unethical. ICIJ's investigation uncovers dozens of individuals and companies who've exploited Cyprus's lax rules and limited oversight. These include arms dealers and cyber espionage firms, an oil company controlled by Syria's authoritarian regime, an entity that made payments to European soccer agents that may have violated Premier League rules, and even a company allegedly used to pay the killer of Croatian journalist Ivo Pukanic. Cyprus ran out of credibility. We need to react because we understand that money laundering is bad, that sanctions are right, and that we have a role to play in the global system to promote honest and efficient uh, financing.